I'm Jeff Stilwell, president of Salt Life, and I'm down here today with my great friend Peter Miller, and we've been knowing each other for probably more years than we care to admit. We don't get to fish together nearly as often as we like to, but it all worked out, and also my good friend Michelle is with us, so you know her as Bombshell a lot of times, but she is a fantastic uh, fishing partner with us. So we have a, a beautiful day here in Miami. We'll go out and try to chase some sail, so Peter, tell us what we're all doing today. It's a perfect time of year for sailfish. We've got a south-southeast wind blowing about 10 to 15 and we're just going to try to determine where the bite is. The bite's been crazy hot from Palm Beach all the way down to the Keys. So we're wolves looking for sailfish. We're getting our bait delivery from my, my old buddy, Jimmy Lewis. There's a buoy right in front of us that shows that a lot of yeah. current right off the bow here. We want that north current. We're in 180 feet and we're uh, putting on six kite baits. We're gonna fly two kites and we're gonna suspend them from the kites. It's blowing about 15 to 18 right now. It's a little sloppy out here, yep. but these fish like it when it's sloppy. So we just set up the kite lines. We're using goggle eyes and thread fin herring today, live bait, and let's see what happens. Hopefully we get some sailfish. All right, Jeff, you're gonna walk over. Yeah, yeah. Good job, Jeff. Sailfish on. Bring that rod out of his way. Walk his walk away. Fingertip. Going on, going forward under the boat. We're doing rip. Rod tip out. Let's go to the bow. First sailfish of the day for Jeff, just like we said, within six That's minutes. That's it. You did, you called it. Yeah, boy. A little bit of a workout, but hey, that's what you're gonna do it for. So we're putting a uh, strip teaser out off the bow of the boat. It's basically mylar strips with a holographic ballyhoo or sardines and very shiny, very reflective, about six foot long strips. And there's probably about 10 of them or 12 and they're on a spreader bar. So you put it out on the water and it just shimmers for about six feet long times 10. So you got about 60 feet of shininess. So you gotta have a bait ready. You pull the teaser in, you throw them a bait and hopefully you get that bite. But they are very, very effective. Not yet. I wanna see where, what's happening. Keep them in the water, see if they're there. Tuna's, tuna right there in the middle. We're going to the back seat right behind you. All right, Michelle, let's see. Open the seat, sit right in the seat. Come on in, swing them in. This is a bonita, commonly used as a strip bait, chunk bait. We love them down here, the fish love them. Nice, fun fight. Do you want to grab me a gog? Always wet your hand first. Inch in front of the dorsal, back it out. A couple twists and come from behind and forward. And then we put him in the live. We got Steve Doherty on the rod. He's not only an outdoor writer, famous photographer, but he's also an accomplished angler in his own right. We hope we have a good sailfish. We're gonna find out. It's taking a lot of line. Oh yeah, we're getting a little low here. I know. That's okay, they can't do much about it. It seems like you yeah, have a formidable know. opponent on the other end. Got another one on the back. Double header, guys. Beautiful selfish, great job, my friend, great job. Awesome. Peter, I can't thank you enough. It was a lot of fun. We don't do this nearly enough or as nearly as often as we say we're gonna do, but we started out hot 
had a nice sale right off the bat. Then we caught a bunch of Bonita. And then at the very end, you pull us out with another beautiful, beautiful sale. Dorsal fin lit up, purple, blue, exactly what you want out of a sailfish. You know, fastest fish in the ocean, 72 miles an hour. And this is why we love it. And until next time, thank you very much. See you soon.